Okay, on this week's Honest Art Podcast, we're talking about one of the four fundamental elements that all great art possesses, like all great art. And one of those elements is composition. And I like to think of these elements like table legs, like a a table that's got four legs, right? If one of those legs on the table is wobbly, the whole table is off. And so composition is, is one of those things. So we really got to know what we're doing. In the podcast, I talk about six different things about composition. There's lots that goes into it, but it's really fun. It's one of those podcasts that you could even download because it's got so many things that are going to be really valuable for you. But one of the things I want to mention is it's not enough just to know about the elements of composition. You also need to know as an artist when you really need to be looking at the elements of composition. Because it's one thing if you are doing representational art or landscape, something like that, and it's a whole nother, it's N-U-T-H-E-R, whole nother thing when you're talking about abstract expressionism. Like when do you start incorporating these compositional elements within these pieces? So if you are an artist that really likes to do representational work, let's say you like to do landscapes, um, knowing ahead of time the composition is going to be really important, like just from the get-go, because you're going to probably do be doing some drawings and really mapping out how you want this piece to look. What do you want in the foreground and what you want in the background? So you really need to be doing this from the get-go. However, if, on the other hand, you really want to paint a piece in abstract expressionism, you don't really want to be thinking about composition right at the outset. The focus at that point is you just want to be free to express whatever it is is bubbling up inside of you and needs to come out. So for abstract expressionism, you really want to stay in that right side of your brain, that uber creative feeling part of your brain. You want to stay there. But at some point, it usually goes to fugly. Maybe I'm just talking to myself, but usually it goes sideways for sure. That's the point where you want to step back and go, okay, what are the compositional elements that I need to be looking at? so that I can get unstuck from the fugly and be able to move this painting forward. All of those things are in this week's podcast, so definitely check it out on your favorite platform.